We're not getting disrespected by nobody's son this summer, okay? Especially somebody's son that's a bum on top of that because he had nothing going for himself. I don't even know why. I loved him. I mean, I do know why. <laughs> I do know why, but it was not worth it. He okay, best friends, so number one, if you want to have the ultimate hot girl summer, I'm talking about stress-free and drama-free, then sis, that dude that you've been going back and forth with that's been giving you mixed messages, yeah, he has to go. He has to go. Just understand this. A man that's not in constant pursuit of you, he doesn't really like you like that. How a man treats you is literally how he feels about you. If he say, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you later, he doesn't call you. Or, you know, the next day, you know, he texts you. Or he doesn't text you. He probably sent you one word responses. Like his responses is really dry. That's because the conversations are getting shorter with you and longer with someone else. Don't be Ray Charles, honey. Read between the lines. Say with me. Read between the lines. He doesn't want you like that. And it's cool. Call up your girls. Get dressed up. Get your hair done. All right? And go to a party. Go to a nice-ass restaurant. Go to, matter of fact... Matter of fact, go to a five-star restaurant. Go to Nobu or something like that in Miami. And you're going to meet. You're going to meet someone else, all right, that has a bigger inch, a bigger bank account. That's going to make you feel like, ew, why did I even trust about his ugly ass to begin with? All right? I used to be that girl that would literally, for some reason, all my guy drama is always, like, during the summertime. I remember I was talking to this dude, you guys. And, like, when I say I was in love with him, I was so in love with him. Like, he'll be out with his friends partying, go to a day party, to go to another party. And I'll be home waiting for him to come home to me. And he would, one time he literally called me and I'm like, hey, like, what's up? Like, you coming over? He was like, no. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe how dumb I was. He was like, nah, I'm just calling to check in, make sure you good. Like, it's a freaking hotel or something. Like, I'm going to pull up later. So just stay up. While my dumb ass really stayed up till like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning until he was partying out with his friends, doing God knows what with whoever. And I stayed up. I stayed up. And he never came. <laughs> you guys, he freaking never came. He never came to my crib. And I was so upset. I called him the next day like, you had me waiting up all night for you and you wasn't here. He was like, yeah, I ended up sleeping. Uh, um, uh, my friend's house. Like, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna come today. I mean, he he came the next day. I mean, I got over it, but I felt so stupid. Um, literally, like I said before, how a man treats you is how he feels about you. What you allow to happen will continue on to happen. He did this like three, four times during the summer. And you guys know, at the end of the summer, um, I found out that he was in a whole other relationship that he was hi like hiding from me. I felt retarded, like for real, because you know. He already proved to me from when he called me and said, oh, wait up for me. When he stood me up the first time, that first sign of disrespect, I should have took the trash back and, throw him, and threw him away. And threw him away. But I let his eggplant justify his actions. All right, don't let it be the, don't let it be you. It don't matter how good the D is. It's not worth you getting disrespected for, period. We're not getting disrespected by nobody's son this summer, okay? Especially somebody's son that's a bum on top of that because he had nothing going for himself. I don't even know why I loved him. I mean, I do know why. <laughs> I do know why, but it was not worth it. He put me through so much. That boy had me crying. I'm talking about crying. The, you know, the only way, I, the only reason I, I, I built up the strength to get over him is my the many nights I spent on my knees praying. I literally, you know you really love someone that's toxic when you have to pray him out of your life. Like, I had to tell God, like, God, this man, like, I know, he, I know I deserve better. I don't know why I let him treat me like this. But please allow me to, like, have the strength to not feel these strong feelings for him. That's why I said, ladies, all just aside, you know, I joke around, joke around all day. That's why I said sexual soul ties is real. Be careful who you give your body to because it could be attached to a demon, okay? And once you have that demon eggplant on you, it is hard to get off. You literally have to go through a freaking exorcism. Like, I have to pray. Many, when I say many nights, not just one prayer, it's like a lot of prayer. Because this man disrespected me so many times. But he never like physically disrespected me or called me out my name. But he disrespected me, you know, with not coming coming home to me when he said he's going to. Um, not picking up every time I call. Like he would, he would, you know what I'm saying? Like he wouldn't pick up, but he would call me later on. 
All of that to me is disrespectful. Like, if you don't want me, just say that. If you got 50 other chicks that you're de dealing with, I'll, just let me know. Let me decide if I want to be the 51st chick that you want to, you know what I'm saying, that you want to mess with. I can, I can go along with it or I can walk away, but give me the option. I hate men that don't give you the option to mess with them. Like, if you messing with other chicks, let me know that. I might just want a side dude. I might just want a dude that, you know what I'm saying? Like friends with benefits, even though I'm I'm nowhere, I'm capping right now. I'm such a cancer, and once I like you, it's up in the stuff. I can't I can't even date more than one person at a time. But I'm just saying. So, ladies, this summer, if you want to have a drama free, stress free summer, make sure you have your situation in check. All right, starting from next, starting from the first week of June, if 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 if, if the guy that you're dating, he's still not getting it, or like he's still giving you mixed feelings. Then leave him where you got where he got you effed up at. Effed up at. We have to normalize loving ourselves more, respecting ourselves. You can't passively tell me that you love yourself if you, you know, allow a guy to tell you, hey, I'm coming over, and then the next day, and he doesn't come, and then the next day you don't hear from him, but the third day you do. And then you just, you know, go along with it all willy-nilly. That's not self-love. That ain't self-love. You got we gotta we gotta love each other. We got to love ourselves more. And that's something I struggle with. I can't even blame you. I can't I can't even call y'all dumb. I was the dummy before too, but I woke up, came to my senses, and I came on my YouTube channel to tell you guys, like, this, it's not it. I'm telling you, those, are the, those type of situations always lead into a dead end, and you're going to spend a lot of nights crying, all right? <sighs> Girl, mm, I just got flashbacks. Like, I can't believe I, I allow men to treat me like this. He's not the first guy either, like... Girl, get it together. All right, so moving on to number two, how to have a hot girl summer, drama-free, stress-free, and all of that. Let's talk about friends. Let's talk about friends. All right, um, in honor of hot girl summer, if your friends don't follow these simple girl code ethics, take your trash bag along with that dusty somebody's son and throw them both away. Okay. This is the rule. This is the girl code. Because some people don't know the girl code. If you find yourself going out with your friends, you guys go out to the club, and then you have that one friend that always leaves the club, always leaves you behind to go to go chase after a man out like that he that she just met at the club. Like she goes home with him. That friend is a dub. If you out with a friend, right, and you know you get you you had a, probably a little bit too much to drink. Like I said in my other video, too much to drink. And instead of helping you, making sure you got home safe, they help you get home safe, but they taking videos of you posting it online. Take a trash bag, throw that whole, whole front away. If you out with a friend after having a great night and it's, you guys had the most lit night of your life, you come home, look in the mirror and see that your wig the whole, the whole night it should have been right here, but it was right here the whole time. And she's taking snaps and laughing with you and never told you anything. Take that friend and throw her away. You guys, I, I know some people be some people think I take friendships very seriously, and it's because I do. If you've been through the fakest, if you've been through my experiences with fake friends, then you will follow these guidelines too. I'm telling you, there's literally no room and no space that you should have in your life for fake people, for fake friends, or friends that don't really have your back. I know some of you like, girl, I know this girl, I know this other friend that I be going out with don't have my back, but she's so fun to hang out with. I used to be like that too. Like I have two separate friends, like my best friend who's my ride or die and my friends that I just party with. No, and for me, at least for me right now, you gotta be, you gotta be everything. It's quality over quantity. You don't want to go out with friends that you can't trust, that's good to party with, but you know, you literally uh, drunk throwing up. They don't take care of you, and you know what I'm saying. Even though you should have, you should be responsible for yourself, but you know, like they're not there for you, and like um, they just the vibes. Oh, that's another thing. You guys are out. Right? And then the vibes are just off. Like maybe you're taking a picture, a photo, and then you happen to turn at your friend and she's just looking at you with that look like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell when a friend doesn't really like you. So pay attention. Don't, 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 don't um, wait until it's too late. Because I was one of those people that every time I seen a red flag in a friend, I let it go, I let it go. Because I'm like, she's cool to hang out with. Or, you know, you know she, may be, she may suck at this, but I like her for this. No, 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 honey. If you don't want to have, if you, I'm serious, if you want to have the best summer ever, you want to be around people that makes you not want to look at your phone. Um, to this day, it still brings tears to my eyes. 
I, I, I remember one summer, me and my little sister, church girl, ha, Courtney, um, we took the F train to Coney Island. Yeah, that dirty ass beach. But six, seven years ago, it wasn't even dirty. Like, we liked that beach. We went, we went to the, all right, so we took the F train on 179th Street um, in Hillside. If you're from Queens, you know. So, um, right on, like, okay, so going to that, that train station, there's a 99 cent store, like, across the street. Right, so we went. I remember we went to the 99 cent store. We got a whole that was before Dollar Tree. We got a whole bunch of snacks. Then we hopped on the train. Last stop to Coney Island. We and then we got there a lot around 12 o'clock. And then it it was around and then it was around like four or five o'clock in the evening. I'm like, oh my god, where does time go? Like we just got here. She turned around and said, um, oh wow, I didn't realize that time time um goes. Time goes by fast when you're with someone you really care about. I'm such a crybaby. And to this day, I always bring this up to her. She's like, oh my God, are you saying the story again? And it really put things in perspective. Even though that's my sister, you know, as siblings, you guys have a certain love for each other. But she inspired me to be around friends that, that feel that way about me and vice versa. I no longer am going to entertain friends that I feel like I'm putting more I'm, I'm giving more of myself to. That's in relationships and friendships. You know, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be around girls that celebrate you. You gotta celebrate each other. You know what I'm saying? And there's no hate. It's nothing but genuine positive vibes. I'm, I promise you, you're gonna have the best hot girl summer if you surround yourself with women that are just filled with self love and they pour it onto you. Like I, me, I, 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 I love that. I thrive on friends that pour onto me. I went on a girl's trip recently and we, we just poured onto each other. Like I was telling my best friend, Jen, like, I love you so much. Like this girl spent $17,000 on the trip. Like she, like I went out to eat with them and her other rich friends. Okay. Cause I, I didn't know any of the girls. I just knew her and that's it. She introduced me to her other friends and we just had the best time. And you know, I'm not used to people paying for me and stuff like that. She, I'm talking about four or $500 tabs. She's paying, she's covering it. She heard her friend, they just covering it. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I didn't know how to take it because I'm not used to that. I'm so, I'm a giver. I'm used to paying for everything when I go out. And I was like, Jen, like, I'm gonna give you your flowers right now, girl. Like, I just want you to know that like, I love you. You never change. Like, this girl was holding me down from when I was broke. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I forgot I left my uh, food on the uh, stove. Hold on, just tell you yeah, this girl, you know what I'm saying, never judged me. Even when I was a waitress, when I was a waitress, she probably was making a hundred, her first hundred thousand, and she never changed. She was such a great friend to have. And once again, I was reminded mm, it's very important. It's very important. Note to self: be around people that inspire you, that makes you want to elevate, that doesn't judge you, that doesn't have no jealous, hateful vibes, that want to see you win, that loves you. Every single time my friend Jen introduced me to someone, the other person always says, oh, so you're Bella. Oh, you're Paige. Oh, my God. Jen is always talking about you. She's always talking about your music. I love that. I love that. I love that. Because I'm the type of person, you treat me good, I'm going to treat you 10 times better. Ooh, I'm gonna treat you something. You never seen loyalty like this. You ain't never seen a friendship like this. That's something I could brag about. Like, when I love you, ooh, it's over. When I can't, when, but when you my enemy though, ooh, that same intensity that I love with you with, I, I can hate you too. Anyway, so um, moving on. Oh, this is the last thing, to have the awesome and hot girl summer. All right, forget about being drama free and stress free with these friends and these and these men. Six, get the body right. You gotta, you gotta get the body together, okay? You gotta get the body together. If you don't like your body, start from right now. You guys have been telling me, girl, how do you keep your weight off? If you scroll down to all my videos from two years, it's been two years, two years. I can't stress this enough, you guys. I can't, I can't, I can't. I gotta show you. You have to click the link in my bio, you guys. I can't. It's like a drug at this point. It's like, like I can't. Like I just, I just bought a new tea. I can't, you guys. I can't stress this enough. This is not sponsored, even though I sell tea. It doesn't, it, 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 my, the company I work for didn't tell me, hey, do a video like this. I'm telling you guys this right now. My last video on Ayaso T went viral, over 800,000 views. A bunch of, over 10,000 comments. She's not lying. She's not lying. I, I kept my weight off. 
if you want to have a hot girl summer, you can have a hot girl summer if you don't like the way you feel about yourself. I don't care. You can have all the body positivity in the world, but body positivity didn't work for me when I look like this. When I look like this, I, I used to curse my sister out for posting pictures of me. I hated how I looked. I didn't want to date. I didn't feel beautiful at all until I lost the weight and I'm here now. You guys, the way I'm, I'm keeping this weight off, five days a week, I take... You're not supposed to take three, but I take three packets. Don't tell nobody. I take three packets. I put it in a water bottle. Where's my water bottle? Okay, cool. Get your Poland Springs water bottle. Three packets, right? Fill up. You Don't use the water from the sink. Use the filtered water, you know? But you don't have to, but I use filtered water. I fill up the water right here, pour the three packets, shake it up, drink it. Every morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, I drink the whole thing. Don't just sip and leave it. Drink the whole thing. By 2 o'clock, by 12 o'clock, your stomach's going to be rumbling. You're going to have to rush to the bathroom. When you go to the bathroom, you're going to poop everything out. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to, all right, so let, let me break it down to you how this tea works. So you know how you eat, right? Let's say you had, let's say you had, let's say you had a cheat meal, right? You on your weight loss journey, but you had a cheat meal. You had McDonald's yesterday. Like me, I, I I just crave McDonald's. I don't even eat like that, but I had a double cheeseburger. I had a milkshake. I had cookies. Um, and I, I felt guilty about it, right? But the next day, I took three packets of the tea. When I say every, all that McDonald's, everything came out of me. Like, I literally looked in the toilet and I see everything. I know it's came out. Everything came out of me. And my stomach went back to snatch. This, this tea deserves its flowers. I can't believe it. Like, all you need, drink it up. And then um, three times a week, I do 30 minutes. You could do, if you're just not starting off your weight loss journey, I don't want to tell you to, to do, to work out like how I work out. I do arms, abs, and all of that. You're going to get discouraged. Do 30 minutes of cardio, either the spin bike or do um, the treadmill, but do 30 minutes of it. Three times a week, you drink your tea, don't eat it, don't eat after seven, girl, you're going to be snatched. You guys, I'm a living testimony. You guys know I don't cap. You know I don't cap. You know how many, you, you know I, I lost like literally like $10,000 in brand deals because companies would send me stuff that was trash. And I'm like, I'm not gonna tell that to my Bella gang. They trust me, trust me. You're gonna feel so good about yourself. I get the replenish kit. It comes with Nutri, uh, a Nutriburst and the tea. You need to take both of them to see the best, best results. So after you, after you wanna take the shot of the Nutriburst first, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how real it is. Because I got a lot. You're gonna take a shot of the Nutriverse. This is a multi. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're gonna take a shot of the Nutriverse. It's a multi, it's a liquid multivitamin. And then you're gonna drink your tea on an empty stomach five days in a row. You do this for two weeks. Matter of fact, you take the tea, you do what I said for a whole month. You're gonna lose 25 to 30 pounds. And if you don't, where is it, where is it? What does this say? Money back guarantee, money back guarantee, you guys. This is not a game. If you wanna have a hot girl summer, part of you know having a hot girl summer is looking your best, smelling your best. You know, you're just gonna be so confident. Once you reach your goal weight, you're gonna be so confident. And um, you're gonna thank me for it. I have, I can't, I can't, I can't express how many DMs I get of girls. This one girl, she sent me a video of her literally in tears. Like, I'm so happy that I listened to you. I'm, I was once, I was never this small. I was 180, I'm 145. That brings tears to my eyes. It's like, ooh, I'm using my platform for good. I'm not trying to say, um, drink tea, that's how you're gonna lose weight. It's gonna be hard. Yes, drink the tea, but I, like I said before, work out, don't eat after seven, and try to eat. Swap out the junk food for fruits. You know, have one big salad a day. Salad is really filling. You know, for dinner, have um, um, salmon with veggies. Or matter of fact, if you don't know how to eat clean, watch all of my What I Eat In A Day videos. All of those um, What I Eat In A Day videos, I still eat like that to this day. And then you're going to be good. And that, my friend, is how you have a six... <coughs> I'm a little parched. That my day is how, my friend is how you have a successful hot girl summer. And by the way, I still drink. I still drink. I still eat McDonald's like I just said, and I'm still snatched. 
Don't, I don't deprive myself. That's how you go back to bench eating. Don't deprive yourself. But also, if you, you know, don't OD with the snacks and junk food either. You have to change your lifestyle. Losing weight and keeping it off is a lifestyle that you got to be dedicated to. And if you're not ready to, for that dedication and you still want to eat Krispy Kreme and double cheeseburger all day, I mean... The tea is going to work for you, but you're going to gain the weight back. That's the thing about it. You will lose, you, I'll lose like six pounds in like five days when I drink the tea. But if I eat bad, you gain, you gain that right back. You gain it right back. That's why I said three days, 30 minutes of workout, you good. Don't eat after seven. Anyways, I got to go, you guys. But I love you. Until next time, bella gang or no gang.